Yeah, uh, my name is Alia. I'm from Cairo, Egypt, uh, but I study in Abu Dhabi and I was a creative media ROD in the past year. Survival of the Best Fit is an online game or simulation um, that is an interactive experience that's aimed at people who would want to understand how um, AI could be biased or how algorithms could be biased but don't necessarily have any prerequisite knowledge about it. Uh, so you go through a um, hiring process where you work as a recruiter and you're trying to hire applicants and then you're told that you have to move to an automated algorithm and then you see how this algorithm is making decisions that end up being biased but that you weren't considering in the first place. I think to me it all comes back to accountability. This is something that I personally care about a lot, being able to hold people accountable and this is it's something that's very important to achieve justice or equity or anything else that we seek in our societies. But I worked on this project with three other people, Miha, Jihoon and Gabor. So we all actually met in university. Something that we talked a lot about in class is that bridge or gap between people in tech who work on these things that affect us all and then people outside of tech who would be interested in those issues but don't understand the like technical jargon. So when we saw the um, call for proposals from Mozilla, we found that this would be a perfect place for us to actually do something and yeah we came together and started working. And I think seeing a call like that was an opportunity for us to like step into the space and try to do something about it but it's also an opportunity for Mozilla to be able to reach beyond its own like fellows or its own um, staff or so on and be able to seek out different perspectives from all over the world. The Creative Media Awards wasn't for established projects, but it was for proposals. So it allowed us, who are people who didn't really do any of this work before, to be able to say, hey, we're just going to submit a proposal. If it works out, we're going to figure this out. Um, and we were very confused when we first won the award because we were like, now we have to figure this out. Uh, but I think we had so much support along the way, so it was an amazing experience and definitely paid off. I think the reason it took us a long time to start working on the project is because we needed a long time to actually make sure we had a concrete agenda and plan and like a mission. Uh, so I would definitely tell people applying to the award to actually know what they want to do and, and to have these clear directions in mind because it's not just about the technology you're using or like how great of an artist you are, but what you actually want to do with these tools. Mm -hmm.